Hello, welcome to Telgon Academy. In today's AP Geography, like in the di uh, district profiles of Andhra Pradesh, we're gonna look into the district of Vishakhapatnam. What is the population of the district Vishakhapatnam? 42 lakhs 90,588. 42 lakhs, that means 42.9%. 42.9 lakhs, 42.9 lakhs, 42 lakhs, 90,588. What is the population growth rate? Means annually, uh, this how this population growth is to, uh, seen. That is 11.96%. Annual growth rate of population is 11.96%. Coming to sex ratio. Sex ratio, 1,006 females for every thousand male sex ratio is higher it's a it's it represents a good number of sex ratio 1006 may uh, females for every thousand males next what is density of the population density of the population is 384 384 is the density of the population next literacy how many educated people are there in vishakhapatnam district 66.91% is a literary rate means it is not a very good number comparatively other parameters. So only 66%. Next coming to female literacy. In this, in this total 66.91% literates, how many females are there? 59.34 females are there. How many? 59.34 females. You can see more than half of the percent are uh, females. How many uh, male literates? 74.56% are male literates. So coming to urban population. What is the urban population of this so-called Vishakhapatnam district? 47.45%. It means you can if you round it off, we can say nearly 50% stay uh, people of the population of the district stays in urbans. 50% stays in rurals. Half of the population is in urban and half of the nearly approximately half of the population in rural. Coming to exact accurate rural means 52%. So child death rate, child mortality rate that is 39 children, 39. Next coming to forest cover, forest extent or cover that is Forest extent is 4,412 4, square kilometers. The total extent of forest area in Vishakhapatnam district is 4,412 kilometers. If that is in uh, percentage, if we take it in percentage, it comes around 39.55% of the total area is under forest cover, in the green cap or green cover. It's a good percentage. Next coming to the economy of the Vishakhapatnam district. Economy of the Vizag district. So, 73,296 crores. What is the GDP of uh, gross district dom uh, domestic product is 73,276 crores. How much percentage it contributes to state domestic product? Gross GSDP, it contributes nearly 14%. It contributes 14% of Vizag district contributes to the GSDP. What is the per capita income of Vishakhapatnam district according to current prices 2013 and 14? Per capita income is 1,24,162 rupees. How much? 1,24,162 rupees is a per capita income of the uh, Vishakhapatnam district. What's the contribution of agriculture? This is the 73,276 crores is a total GDP of the economy of the Vishakhapatnam district means how much agriculture sector uh, industrial sector and sideways sector contribute in this. 
एग्रीकल्चर सेक्टर कंट्रीब्यूट्स 6,300 करोड़ ऑफ जीडीडीपी हाउ मच 6,300 करोड़ ऑफ जीडीडीपी नेन कमिंग टू इंडस्ट्रीज इंडस्ट्रीज इज अ वेरी हाई नंबर यू कैन सी डबल डिजिट नंबर बिकॉज़ इट हैज सो मेनी इंडस्ट्रीज विशाखापट्टनम डिस्ट्रिक्ट हैज सो मेनी इंडस्ट्रीज इन इन दिस पर्टिकुलर डिस्ट्रिक्ट सो इंडस्ट्रीज कंट्रीब्यूट 21,650 करोड़ ऑफ जीडीडीपी हाउ मच 21,654 crores. Coming to service sector, just double this industrial sector, double the number of the industrial sector. It contributes 45,321 crores. How much? 45,321 uh, crores of GDP. So um, now we have seen industry agriculture sector contributes 6,300 crores. So in that particularly. so coming to the sect uh, agriculture sector uh, agriculture is the main stray of nearly 70% of the households like any other districts like any other districts in the states even people in the 70% of the people in the visakhapatnam district also uh, rely on agriculture directly or indirectly agriculture and allied products agriculture and allied sectors Though Vishakhapatnam city is industrially developing, the rural areas continue to be backward. What happens? No, in any in any uh, district, only the city develops. City develops, but the other fringe areas or the other rural areas of the particular districts will remain backward only. Even this this is happening in the district of Vishakhapatnam. Only Vishakhapatnam city is industrially developing, but the other rural areas in the district are still backward and still uh, depending on the agriculture or allied sectors. So rice is a staple food of the people. What is it? Rice. Obviously, we are in Andhra Pradesh, and rice is a staple food of almost throughout the Andhra. So even in Vishakhapatnam also, rice is the staple food. Staple food means. daily consuming or more number of people consuming food so and paddy is there for the principal food crop of the district because of rice being the staple food so paddy is the principal food uh, crop principal food crop of the district so paddy is grown much in percentage much in number paddy is grown in larger areas or larger extents followed by ragi bajra jowar and cash crops such as sugarcane groundnut sesam sesame uh, that is gingerly uh, niger and chillies are important rice is or paddy is grown in a larger uh, sections larger parts of the state, uh, district followed by all these cash crops so uh, food and cash crops since there is no major irrigation systems only about 36% of the cropped area is irrigated under the aikat of the medium irrigation systems and minor irrigation tanks apart from rainfall vizag uh, agriculture in the vizag district also monsoon dependent or rain dependent there are no such major uh, uh, irrigation systems like so only 36% of the area is 36% of the cultivable land is irrigated under the aikat of the medium irrigation systems and minor irrigation tanks the rest of the cultivated area is covered under dry crop crops depending upon the uh, vagaries of the monsoons other area is in the cultivated is covered under the monsoon it depending upon the moods and wills of vision wills of monsoon tantrums of the monsoon next the productivity of the crop crops are low obviously it's rain dependent the productivity of crops are low so coming to uh, statistics of uh, agriculture narrated services so how much agriculture sugarcane production in how many million tons so 19000 19 45 000 million tons of sugar can has been produced and it has a gva of 311 crores of gva so now coming to paddy 257 000 million tons of paddy rice has been grown and it has a value addition of 
386 crores. Coming to horticulture. Horticulture, mainly we can say beetle leaves. Beetle leaves are Tamil Paklun Mata. Mostly grown in, uh, grown in the agency areas or Thuni, uh, near to Vishakapatnam or Arku Valley, Arku Agency. So, beetle leaves. So, uh, 1 crore 54 lakh 25,000 beetle leaves have been produced GV of, with a GV of 249 crores. Mangoes. 1,49,650 million tons of mangoes. It uh, value v, GVA is 186 crores. Coming to livestock. In that milk, how much? 5,18,000 uh, million tons of milk has been produced. Next coming to meat. 28,000 million tons of meat has been produced. Fisheries. So, Vizag being the coastal uh, region, Vizag being the coastal district, or busy fisheries will be doing good. So, marine fish. 83,607 million tons of fisheries have, uh, of marine fishes. Inland fish. 9,080 million tons of inland fish. Animal husbandry. Now coming to animal husbandry. So, uh, it's a uh, important elite sector of agriculture. Important elite and economic activity of the agriculture. So, next to drought animals, which are main source of energy for agriculture, uh, milch animals, sheep and goat are important for income generation of the rural households. Next to like, so many people depend upon these milching animals like cows, buffaloes, apart from that sheep, goat and other for the income generation on a daily basis. So, a sizable number of household earn subsidiary income by selling milk to Vishaka Dairy in any local markets. So, many people depend on this milching animals. Uh, daily, they uh, supply their milk or uh, their product to the dairy, Vishaka Dairy, and or in the local market, which is convenient to them. So, the total livestock of the district is 14 point. 4 8 lakhs of which working animals account for 2 lakhs while milk animals working animals means buffaloes buffaloes who work in the fields or agricultural fields 2 lakhs while milk animals account for 3 point like milching animals account for 3 lakhs nearly and uh, working animals and yeddulu dunnalu anamata ivi 2 lakhs so goats and sheep totaling up to 5 lakhs are important for the livelihood of the considerable population as per 2012 census. So next coming to fishing. It is another important economic activity. Vizag being the coastal district. So uh, Vizag being the coastal district, fishing is a very important economic activity for the uh, livelihood of people of Vizag who reside in this uh, coastal areas or in near the coast. Like it has nearly 59 fishery villages. 59 fishery villages or hamlets, coastline stretches to a length of nearly one. Vizag has a coastline of 132 kilometers. Coastline of 130 kilometers covering 11 coastal mandals. How much? 11 coastal mandals. So, about 13,000 fishermen families to take out their livelihood from marine, inland and brackish water fishing besides catching fish living around Tandava and Raiwada reservoirs. Apart from like nearly 13,000 fishermen families depend, they, their livelihood is only on catching fishes, either marine fish or brackish water or inland and even the reservoir fishes also, Tandava and dry water reservoir also, even they uh, do fishing in reservoirs apart from marine and open areas in reservoirs also. So next coming to industries and services. So how much contribution is from the industrial sector of AP? Already we have seen. In that manufacturing sector, 12,204 crores of GV is from manufacturing sector. Construction, 6,000 crores from construction. Next, from minor minerals. 
Vizag has uh, Vizag district has so many minor, minor minor minerals minerals in that minor minerals 1571 crores of GVA. Now coming to uh, service sectors. Vizag's GDP, Vizag district's GDP is mostly is from service sector only. Major portion or lion's share is from uh, service sector. In that software services. They account for nearly 11,875 crores of GVA. Trade unorganized. They are come under service sector but unorganized trade. So 8,286 crores of GVA from unorganized trade. Industries. Now coming to the industrial sector of Vishakhapatnam district. So how it is developed? How many industries uh, Vizag do have? Vizag district do have? So industrial development is conspicuous in Vishakhapatnam urban agglomeration with the large scale industries. Industrial sector, you, you name it, Vizag city do have that, that any uh, central government industry. So it has all types of industries. So Vizag city has developed industrially very well. Like agglomeration means uh, so including suburbs and the uh, nearby villages also surrounding villages so like we do have hindustan shipyard hpcl hindustan petroleum corporation limited Cormandel fertilizers vizag steel plant vishakhapatnam port trust and a bh uh, bh pv bharat heavy plates and vessels all other ancillaries like railways Railway journal, uh, lately, railway new zone has been constructed, South Coast Railway. South Coast Railway. So, Vizag has all these uh, big industries. Even Jink, Bharat Jink Limited also uh, used to be, uh, it, it, uh, it operations used to be in Vizag. But lately, they have closed their operation because zinc smelting, it's called zinc smelting bringing raw material from Rajasthan and smelting in a local Vishakhapatam was not so viable. So they closed even that jink factory. Apart from this, it has so many industries in Vishakhapatnam. So Vishakhapatnam steel plant is the biggest with an authorized share capital of nearly 7,466 crores with a licensed capacity of 2.8 million tons. Vizag steel Rast, uh, Rastriya Ispat Nigam Limited. Rastriya Ispat Nigam RINL. Vizag Steel Plant has constructed under RINL, Rastriya Ispat Nigam Limited. So it has nearly a saleable steel of 3 million tons of pig iron and 8.3 lakh tons of byproduct. About 34,000 persons are working, are expected to be employed in. A steel plant. It's only steel plant. The project has provided employment to 30, nearly approximately 33,000 persons. On the countryside, the agro-based industries like sugar factories, jute mills, rice mills, there are uh, and there sub uh, besides like brick and tile units, brick and tile units. Also, there are some n number of small kind of industries or small kind of factories. The district has 1664 registered factories under Factories Act functioning with the working force of about 1,50,386 persons during persons. So that is the uh, industrial setup of the Vishakhapatnam district. We'll see what are the major industries in the district of Vishakhapatnam. Just we'll have a look. So important industries of Vishakhapatnam district. It has Coromandel fertilizers, Vizag steel plant, Jawaharlal Nehru Pharma City that is in one is in Paravada and another one is Pharma City in uh, Adavivaram. So there are two Pharma cities. One is in Paravada and one is in Adavivaram. Next, NTPC, National Thermal Power Corporation uh, in Paravada, BHPV, Bharat Heavy Plates and Vessels, Hindustan Shipyard, that is Shipbuilding Center. We do have even Shipbuilding Center. 
शिप बिल्डिंग सेंटर दैट इज कॉल्ड एस बी सी ऑफ इंडियन नेवी इंडियन नेवी सो हियर ऑल दिस स्ट्रैटेजिक शिप्स सबमेरिन्स ऑफ वॉर शिप्स ऑफ इंडियन नेवी और डिफेंस सेक्टर आर बिन आर लाइक बिल्ड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर शिप बिल्डिंग सेंटर आई एन एस कलिंगा नेक्स्ट इज दैट इज हिंदुस्तान शिप है नेक्स्ट साउथ कोस्ट रेलवे जोन अर्लियर इट वॉज साउथ ईस्टर्न रेलवे एंड साउथ ईस्टर्न रेलवे हेडक्वार्टर्स वर इन गार्डन रिच दैट इज कलकत्ता कोलकाता एंड नेक्स्ट इट वॉज अंडर ईस्ट कोस्ट रेलवे हेडक्वार्टर्स वर इन लाइक भुवनेश्वर बट आफ्टर ए आफ्टर सो मेनी डिमांड्स एंड सो मेनी रिक्वेस्ट वाइजैक आंध्र प्रदेश हैज ए जोन रेलवे जोन बट दैट इज कॉल्ड साउथ कोस्ट रेलवे जोन हेडक्वार्टर इन विशाखापटनम हेडक्वार्टर्स आर इन विशाखापटनम इट इज अ न्यू रेलवे जोन ऑफ ऑल द ऑफ द इंडियन रेलवे नेक्स्ट विशाखा डेरी एच पी सी एल एंड विशाखा पाइजैक पोर्ट ट्रस्ट सो दीज आर दी मेन इंडस्ट्रीज ऑफ विशाखापटनम डिस्ट्रिक्ट नाउ कमिंग टू मिनरल्स इवन वाइज विशाखापटनम डिस्ट्रिक्ट इज इवन रिच इन मिनरल्स सो लाइक डिस्ट्रिक्ट हैज मिनरल डिपॉजिट्स ऑफ बॉक्साइट Appetite. It is rich in bauxite. That is rock phosphate. Appetite, calcite, crystalline limestone, confined to tribal tags. So these all uh, minerals are confined to Burra Caves and Arku Valley near the tribal areas, near the hilly regions or Anantagiri Hills. Next, uh, the bauxite deposits at the Sapparla, Jerrilla, and the Gudam of G G K Vidhi Mandal are considered to be the largest in the country. So there was so much uh, fight for this evacuation or exploration of bauxite. Like they were evacuating all the tribal areas or tribal uh, regions. Uh, that was like okay. That's another part of the story. But these bauxites and calcite crystal limestones are available in the. Sapparla, Jerrilla, uh, Gudam of G.K. Vidhi Mandal of the agency areas of Vishakhapatnam or tribal tracts of the Vishakhapatnam district. Next, bauxite deposits are also identified at Galikonda, Katuki, uh, Chittamgondi of Arku group deposits. Even bauxites are also identified in the Arku group deposits of these particular villages. And next. काटम राजकोंड ऑफ गुर्ते सब ग्रूप ऑफ डिपॉजिट्स नेक्स्ट फॉस्फेट एपेट इज अवेलेबल इन काशीपटन विलेज ऑफ अनंतगिरी मंडल काशीपटनम इज अ स्मॉल विलेज इट्स अ साइट सीइंग प्लेस इट इज अ फुट हिल ऑफ द यू कैन से फुट हिल ऑफ द अनंतगिरी माउंटेन्स अनंतगिरी हिल्स सो फॉस्फेट इज सीन इन काशीपटन मंडल रिच डिपॉजिट्स ऑफ क्रिस्टल एंड लाइम स्टोन एंड कैलसेट और mapped in borra caves so rich deposits of crystalline limestones limestones are seen crystalline borra caves is made up of limestone borra caves are nothing but limestone caves uh, limestone cast they are limestone caves so rich deposits of crystalline limestone and calcite are mapped in borra caves and along the valley up to arku from borra and around valasi village of anantagiri mandal you see almost the uh, minerals are found in the ईस्टर्न घाट्स ऑफ विशाखापटनम डिस्ट्रिक्ट और अनंतगिरी हिल्स सो रूबी माइका इज अनदर मिनरल अवेलेबल इन द डिस्ट्रिक्ट एसेंशियल फॉर इलेक्ट्रिकल एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक इंडस्ट्रीज वी ऑलरेडी नो दैट रूबी माइका इज अवेल यूज इन कॉस्मेटिक्स एंड इलेक्ट्रिक्स एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इन दट पर्टिकुलरली अनदर वेराइटी कॉल रूबी माइका इट इज अवेलेबल इन अबंडन्स इन द डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ विशाखापटनम The mineral occurs in the form of uh, folocpite and is confined to Borra Tract. It is available in uh, available in the form of folocpite that to uh, particularly in Borra Caves. So quartz is another mineral found mostly in Bhimuni Patnam, Padmanabham, Devrapalli, K Kotapadu, and Anantagiri Mandals. 
these are the suburbs of the Vishakapatnam. So, quads is found in the suburbs of apart from this Anantagiri Mandals. Next, a vermiculate found near Kasi Patnam of Anantagiri Mandal. Even we do have vermiculate. Next, clay deposits near uh, Mali Valasa of Araku Mandal or identifier. Anything you, any uh, mineral you name it almost in the Anantagiri, uh, that is a hilly tract or the tribal tract of uh, district. So, lime shell useful for manufacture of chemical grade lime is also available in the district. Red and yellow ochre deposits are also identified in Naruku and Anantakiri mandals. So, the, uh, they are the mineral deposits of Vishakapatnam districts. In that, how much, uh, if we come into statistics, economy, how much this land minerals we get or GVO from this land minerals? From quartz, 35,130 million tons of quartz has been found. And next, laterate, 34,200 million tons. Apart from the appetite, calcite, vermiculite, white clay and color granite. Thank you.